guys, it's Lily LPS here. And today's video is a draw my life on how I started LPS Tube and what inspired me and my story of how I got where I am right now. I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get started. 2014, the 28th of July. One day when I was sick, I was bored and tired. So I decided I would watch some YouTube to cure my boredom, as people do, you know? So I decided to watch some Animal Jam videos, because at the time I was into that, it was four years ago, guys, I changed. And the one that came up first in my subscription box was someone advertising their LPS channel called Lulu's Videos 220. I instantly started binge watching all her videos and the first video I watched of hers was her Cooking with Lauren video and then I watched her series Farfetched and I knew that second I wanted to make an LPS video myself. I remembered I had some LPS in some houses so I tried to find them because my older sister had collected them before me so I had a collection of around 50 LPS to start my career. First video was a series and you all know how series work when you first start your channel. It's pretty much copying the first series you watched because you know, crazy fangirl inspired person. And at the time I was super proud of it and keep in mind I was sick so I was staying home and I have a twin sister and she came home from school that day and I told her what I had been doing that day which came up to be I created an LPS channel. She loved the idea as well and we started making videos together. I had not named the channel yet but we were inspired by this channel called AJ Videos 1234 and decided to call our channel LPS Videos 1234 and we were super excited to start making videos. My mascot was a blonde cocker spaniel with green eyes because it looked like me and it was my favourite LPS. My family loved that I was showing my creativity in filmmaking through LPS and they supported me making my LPS channel throughout the journey. It took a few weeks or maybe months, I'm pretty sure it was months, until we got our first view. I remember the comment saying, awesome video, I subscribed and we freaked out that someone just watched our video and enjoyed it. A few months later we upgraded our equipment and tech to VideoFX and iMovie with VideoFX Live and VideoStar because we originally used Photo Booth on a computer and it didn't look so good so yeah we decided to change it. But our editor we used was iMovie sometimes so we would use VideoFX and then put it onto the computer and then eat it with iMovie. And that improved our videos instantly. We got more views and more subscribers and we were thrilled with all the feedback. But sadly around this time my twin sister she decided that she wasn't interested in making LPS videos anymore. So she left my channel and since she did that I had always wanted to kind of change my username and things. So once she did that, I thought this would be the time for a good change. So changed my profile picture, my banner, and I changed my username to Lily LPS because I wanted it to be something more unique to me and that related to me because LPS videos 1234 wasn't such a creative name. Neither is Lily LPS, but it related more to me than the other username did. And also, since we we're doing that big change in my videos, I didn't know about privating videos so I deleted my first 30 videos from my channel and I have no way of watching them now and I regret this choice a lot because I didn't know that you could private them because I just deleted them straight away so if you want to delete your first few videos don't delete them private them or unlist them so you always get to watch them to see how far you've came and it's also fun to see what you've learnt through the past few years or months you've been on YouTube. And a year later we reached our first 20 subscribers. I know, not a lot of subscribers for only being on YouTube for a whole year, but to us, we thought we were famous. And we suddenly got heaps of comments, one, two comments on all of our videos, but not all of them were that nice. We started getting some hate comments and they were saying rude things. This made me very sad because I hadn't received any negative comments before, but I decided I wouldn't let this change anything. 
but it took a while for me to know that but not all those people know how much effort you've put into your channel and that's probably your, their first time seeing your channel and they're just probably down or sad and they just wanted to put their negativity out on you so ignore the hate comments they're just trying to make you feel down and don't feel down because you're letting them win don't let them win be happy get over the obstacles because I know it may be hard but just don't listen to them and six months after that I switched to Final Cut Pro as my editor because we already had that editor because my siblings used it for their videos for school and stuff and I decided I wanted to be more professional with my videos so I got Final Cut Pro and my sister had a camera which I got to use because she didn't make videos as much as I did so I got to use the camera so I got to use this camera and it's the one that I'm using actually right now and it's a really good camera like I am so grateful for it it's a really good camera so I had a professional editor and camera to use already my videos have became a lot more professional and I just got 100 subscribers that was my first goal I wanted to aim for when I started my channel. I studied my editor and camera because I was determined to learn more and improve my content and knowledge around cameras and editors. And around this time I randomly decided I'd stop making videos. I felt down, I had no energy because of school, it's a pain in the butt, and I just, you know, was tired and didn't have much motivation. But two weeks later I came back because I couldn't just leave my channel behind and I'm so glad I came back because I wouldn't be here today. And fast forward a year later I was gaining heaps more subscribers and had more professional videos. By this time I had 200 subscribers. 200 subscribers! That's like double my goal when I first started my channel. I had so much motivation to film and everything was great. I also started monetizing my videos because it was a great way to earn money to go towards buying new LPS, some equipment for my videos and yeah it was helpful because I got to get heaps of LPS to go with my filming because you guys are awesome. Don't worry I don't do YouTube for the money. I would never do that because that's just not the right way to earn it so yeah I do it for fun and sharing my passion with you guys. By now I had been on YouTube for two years. I had so many LPS tuber friends that were so nice and loyal and I had learnt a lot about LPS tube and making videos and in 2016 I reached 300 subscribers, 400, 500, 600, 700 so that was 500 in one year. This is crazy! And in 2017, I reached 1,000 subscribers. That is insane! I was rocketing up in subscribers and it made me so happy because so many of you guys watched my videos and knowing that people enjoyed watching my videos and I could make people happy was great. It was a great feeling and I'm so happy that I can do that. And on the 9th slash 10th of July, I reached 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I still can't believe this. This is like crazy. 5,000 of you have clicked the subscribe button on my channel. Like, why my channel? And all your comments are so nice and supportive. And you guys are just awesome. I read all of your comments and I try to reply to all of them as well. Knowing that there is 5,000 of you guys out there is crazy. Because these past four years, you guys have supported me. And I've learnt so much and managed to get 5,000 of you and I still can't believe this, like this is just crazy. When I started YouTube I never imagined that I would come this far because I was just someone who wanted to share my videos on the internet because a way of sharing my passions. I still make videos because it makes me happy knowing that you guys like my videos and that I really enjoy making these videos. I really want to be a director someday and this is a great way to learn of how to do that. And yeah, you guys are just so awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thanks again for 5,000 subscribers guys. Sorry that this video is like 10 days late. I have been busy. 
So if you want more story time slash troll my life videos, you guys can tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye!